Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel here. I'm Jeff, and uh, just another uh, Bronco fan here. If you're like me, uh, you might be trying to come up with uh, a solution for taking care of uh, the mud spray that comes up the side of the uh, vehicle here off of the uh, front tire when you're uh, out on any kind of uh, mud, unprepared surface. Here in Michigan, where I live, uh, winter just sprays salt and everything gets jammed up in the uh, door handles. Uh, so this is uh, what I went with, the uh, Mabbit. Uh, front mud flaps and I uh, got a video here just showing how I installed in case you have any questions. The first step of this install involves removing your wheel brows, which is uh, pretty easy to do. Just uh, unsnap the uh, levers for your uh, brow and you just give a firm tug to snap it off the vehicle and that's really easy. Once you're complete with that, next step is you're going to have to remove this, this, and this expansion screw. I also recommend removing this one. It'll make it a lot easier to get in behind the material and put the uh, clips that are provided for the two attach points here. And then you'll just be able to pop that one back in. An easy way I find to get the expansion screws out. Just do something to lift it a little bit. And you can also put something like a pair of scissors that will get on either side of the screw. And that lets you get the back pressure to help back it up the rest of the way. Once you get the four expansion screws out, three required positions. This one here where the bracket's going to go. This one here that directly ties in through the mud flap. And this one here just removing so you get easy access behind the panel. If you don't do that, with this point tied down, it's really hard to work the clips in behind these two uh, required attachment points. And then once you get the clips in, you can just go ahead and pop one of these back in on the lower fastener. You'll only use two of these, so if you have trouble getting them out and you damage a couple of them, it's not gonna hurt you because these two will use the uh, new hardware supplied with the mud flaps. So you're only gonna use two of these to, on each side to put back on the original trim piece under here. The brackets that you get will go and face this way. After you put the brackets in behind, I find it easier to test fit the uh, location of the screws because the bracket has got a pretty small tolerance to where it has to line up in the hole to get these screws in. Uh, so when I did my first uh, side on the mud flap here, you know, I was trying to get one in, have to pull the felt out, readjust the bracket and mess with it. So to me, I would go ahead and get a test fit like this. Just make sure you kind of got the brackets lined up and then it's easy to back the screws out and go ahead and put on your, uh, your bracket for mounting the flap. Now that we know we have a good alignment, the bracket can go on. So just gently back one of these up. Hopefully it will go in easily. Put the washer in. Back out the second one. Put the washer in. And got it. Once you feel like you've got the uh, clip on tight enough, I'm going to go ahead and put in the other
and then installing the mud flap. Don't forget your washers. You know, this point is going to be uh, the one that's tied into the material down inside, and then the other two points out here. It'll look a little bit of alignment when you first do it because the last screw is going to torque and twist it into alignment with the uh, vehicle. And the last expansion screw goes in, kind of hard camera angle to get. The last expansion screw, once it goes in, lines up the uh, fender, uh, the mud flap perfectly. It really makes this a very solid mount. All we have to do is snap on the brow. Bring on the last piece, and once you get it in, it's just the uh, locks to us switch around. It's just snatch right over. One piece is a little harder to get down behind the uh, 